Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing a budget product photography setup. Now all of the items were purchased at IKEA, local IKEA store, so overall this cost me about 25 euro. Um, these two bulbs over there that you see, they are 20 watts, 2700 Kelvin. Not the best uh, temperature there to have, but still. Uh, 1200 lumen 20 watts I think they're equal to well it says 60 lumen slash watt I'd say they are equal to about 100 watt bulb at least if not more um, we're gonna see what are the writings on the bulb itself so two of these they were five euro each because um, I bought them in Ireland so that's ten and um, I bought two lamps they are called not just in case you're interested and the maximum bulb they can accept is the one that I purchased. I'm going to show you them a bit later. So they were six each, so that's 12, so 22. And this was 3 euro 75, I think. So 25, 75 for the whole setup. Um, this one is just basically, I think, one of the drawers um, for shelves or something like that. This is the protocol, just in case you're interested. And it's uh, G-O-P-A-N. And it's 30 by 30 by 25 centimeters. Now, if you guys are in the States or anywhere else, I um, don't know if you see that. 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters by 9 and 3 quarters. Okay, so that's that. Um, I'm going to show you them one by one, I suppose. And later, I'm going to show you the setup at night in the dark room. Now, these lights, they're actually quite big. They're at least five foot tall or about one meter fifty. Um, however, you can reduce the height of them. I'm going to show you how. So bulbs first, I suppose, since I have one in my hand. Now, lightning is the most important part. And this is the biggest uh, bulb that I found in Ikea, except for LED, which I don't really like. And... Yeah, it's a 20 watt, 1200 lumen, and 60 lumen a watt, that's what it is. It doesn't say what is it equivalent to. So, sorry for that guys. Um, so that's that. Now, for this part, if you are buying one, I suppose, try to keep this plastic packaging because you don't want to get any dust or dirt or anything like that when you're not using it and so there we go it looks like so pretty easy you have a zip here on this side now guys you can actually buy a bit bigger ones as well i didn't go for the bigger one just because it it was a bit out of my budget. You could only buy three for 15. I didn't want three. I just needed one. And I couldn't see one for five euros. So I just bought this one. So this is your... Light box or whatever you call it. And um, basically you would put your product in here. So let's say... I'm going to use the remote. And as you see, no hard shadows, you have soft shadows. Well, you have soft shadows in the room anyway because of the lighting, but if you had hard light coming from all the direction except the front, you would have soft shadows inside. So that's pretty neat. Um, you don't have the front cover. It didn't come with a front cover because obviously it's just a drawer. But what you could do is you could put a couple A4 sheets um, with a see-through sellotape or something like that and leave some space for the camera Something like that. Anyway, you can be creative and I'm sure you can think of something. So that's that, pretty wide inside and just what I need. Now for this part, I'm gonna actually move that out of the way. For this part, the actual lamp, now I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but basically these are four tubes and they are identical. There's thread in here and thread in here so they basically thread all together and that's how you have your light it comes already with a top like so so you have a top part where you put your bulb in and you can put a 
shade as well if you want if you don't buy like this box or something like that or you just want to use the shade for a little bit of soft light you can use that i don't think i'll be using that i'll be just using the top part itself and what you can do i think you can skip all the steps there that they ask you to to do you can simply screw that onto the base i'll show you a bit later so basically that screws onto the base and you have a short light so you have a solid stand and you have a fixture there and you have a switch a rocker switch and obviously you have a normal plug that you can plug in so that way you don't have to buy any iffy fixtures or anything like that and as i said the whole thing here was six euro so what you can do if you craft enough you can actually reuse them all these rods for something x uh, for something else uh, one of your shoulder rigs or anything like that so food for thought they're quite sturdy um, maybe even aluminum although i doubt i think they're just steel ones but yeah that's them they're all painted for you so you can reuse them for whatever you want and that's only from one and another one has another four so maybe you can make up a slider or anything like that it's all up to you guys as you see only two of them already makes like three foot or one meter length well not quite but nearly two 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 and a half foot long um, piece that you can use for something else so so yeah guys um that's it we're gonna come back when it's gonna be dark i'm gonna light them both in my room and we're gonna see if we can use this box to take a product shots and what our product shots would look like so see you then okay and finally it's dark so i only have these two lights in the room now i'm gonna switch one for you guys so you can actually observe the scene a bit better so there we go um i just left it as it was i just mounted it to the base and that's pretty much it now this is the um box that i got and there's a geotos um, rocket blower it's basically to clean off your camera lens and other equipment really handy tool so i decided to go with that because it has some black surface and some texture there on the front so you might be able to see it when the shot will be good or bad now if i switch them both on it's okay but there's one thing missing by the way guys as you see there's no hard shadows nothing like that inside if i place it like that although i don't have much shadow I, I don't know if you guys can see it properly but i still have kind of darkened areas in there so basically the box does help the problem here is that all the light is illuminated outside into all the areas basically it's not focused so this type of light is not really perfect but if you have one of these which is basically uh, used to be a, some cheapo yoga mat or uh, same thing goes for the i think it's called a radiator heat uh, reflector or something like that so you can use these so on one side you have, have kind of a little bit textured semi glossy like an aluminium finish and on the other side doesn't really matter now if i to place it like so you'll notice immediately that more light is radiated through that however that's not quite enough if you want to make it even better you can do it like this now in that case no light is radiated outside or into the wall so basically my walls are matte finish and that would just basically take out the light so for that not to happen you can do something like that you can clip it maybe so it looks a bit flimsy but the main thing especially if i push it a little bit back is that your subject is lit up and uh, to prove my point i'm going to take a few pictures um let's keep let's change actually the lens to 50 millimeter 1.4 i'm going to shoot at f 2.20 and yeah i'm going to show you what's the result so just give me one sec i'm going to shoot first with the reflectors and second one exactly same settings with no reflectors and we're going to see what's the difference so give me a sec 
Okay, so as you see, these are the pictures. Now, um, don't be disappointed with the pictures just yet. There's one little tweak that we can do. If you take a simple A4 sheet of paper, or sheet of A4, A4 paper, and for this object, I suppose we can put it like that, leave a little bit in front and a little bit at the back. You can reduce this kind of edge at the back and things like that but everything else remains the same. So the only modifiers is obviously the reflectors um, that we just brought as an extra and the A4 sheet of paper. So if you have that, that's great. If not, it's quite cheap to get. All right, so I'm gonna show you the results with A4 sheet of paper without the reflectors first and then with the reflectors. So as you see, quite a bit of difference guys there. So, um, that's pretty much it. Now the settings uh, were posted there below, uh, below the photos, so you can try to replicate that. As you can see, you can shoot with a quite a bit of speed and uh, quite a low ISO setting. So that's pretty neat. Um, obviously, <clears throat> the things that you need is a light box and two, at least two light sources, I'd say. You can try to shoot with one if you have a strong one kind of position somewhere here on the, on the other corner. You can try it that way. Um, in terms of the light source, although it's quite light, I, uh, quite bright, I would say you could go with the normal incandescent bulb. I know they're not as energy efficient, but for your shoes, you only need so much time. And especially since these bulbs take at least a minute, I'd say, to heat up to produce that amount of uh, light. But yeah, that's your setup for 25 to 30 euro if you include these two reflectors which is basically yoga mat cut in half maybe you can buy on ebay something even cheaper so yeah let me know what you think about this little setup now this is the first time i ever i'm ever doing a product photography like this i'm usually just placing it on the white background taking a picture doing a little bit of photoshop and that's it i wouldn't care less you know but i must say that i'm quite amazed uh, with the results as you can get for this simple setup so let me know what you think. Uh, maybe share a video of your own setup. I'd be interested to see what you have done yourselves. And uh, click the like button if you like the video and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.